We're in the middle of formation lap, so we're going to jump in to the race. All right, they're already halfway All right, we have some down the track. Watch out for curves and exit. And remember to break early. All right. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hello YouTube. This is round three of the Paddock Sim Racing GT4 series. We are at Brands Hatch in the wet conditions. Drivers are on their formation lap, a freestyle formation lap here. And drivers are now doubling up as they head down under the bridge into the last corner. It's like Woodsy out front. Magic 8 right behind him on the outside. They come around that long sweeper side by side as we ride on board with Bad Wolf. Let's get to racing, everybody. Everyone take a nice, long, deep breath, because it's about to be crazy. Green light. Go, go, go. And they're away. Woodsy is off to a nice little lead in front of everybody else. The McLaren of Ann Millie doing nicely to maintain that third position. Woodsy up front with a very defensive line through the second corner there heading back down the hill drivers are going to want to tiptoe their ways to get tire uh, heat into the tires and into the brakes especially in the wet conditions the tires take a lot longer to get heat in them even in the wet tires Very clean start so far by everybody. I don't see any ducks out of line. Looks like everyone made it through the tricky bit so far. Oh, we got a few cars off. Looks like the Porsche of B -B -B Gomez off in the sweeper. Very deceptive corner indeed, especially on an outlap. I feel like he lost too much ground from the pack, though. Woodsy already with a nice gap uh, on the rest of the field, along with uh, MJ there in second place. As you're right on board with uh, Diesel. Nice little battle here, dead center in the pack. And uh, chat, if there are any particular cars that, oh, big, uh, big dive there by the Camaro of Sheen. It didn't look intentional. The great heads up driving by uh, uh, Blaskus. To uh, avoid any severe contact. This is race one of two races, so keeping your nose clean in race one is definitely going to be beneficial for race two's points. Uh, and race two is a flipped grid scenario, so your finishing position in race one, the grid will be flipped in race two. Throws a little bit of a wrench into the mix. Oh, it looks like we got a uh, little bit of a spin there. Uh, from the Camaro of Diesel. Jumps back to pit lane after a big hit. Not entirely sure. It's an instant between another car and not.
Schwanemann moving up the field quite quickly in his Camaro. Camaro's doing very well here this weekend. Oh, a few cars going deep in turn two there. Diesel rejoins the field. As Smokes looks like he's coming up through the field, just passing and Millie there. Head down that long mid straight. Down the hill, bottoming out, long sweeper to the right. With our race leader coming through the final turn to complete lap three of this race. <laughs> Lapping very quickly indeed, very smooth through turn one. Not easy to do in dry conditions, but substantially more difficult in the wet. Making it look easy. It's the Camaro in second place of MJ. Close pursuit. Looks like we have a Porsche off there in turn three, turn four, I guess, of Gomez or bad. Nope, that was the 16 car. 16 car was off there. As Smokes makes his way around uh, and Millie. No, no, sorry, he was already in front. Uh, and Millie looking to reclaim his uh, position on Smokes, but. Couldn't get the pass done. Already a massive gap between second and third place. Those two out front doing some impressive driving indeed. Only a few minutes into this race. We were only seven minutes in and they've already pulled out a 11 second gap over the rest of the field. And Millie looking to the inside of Smokes. 23 McLaren letting him know he's there this is a race of attrition keep your car clean stay on the track like uh, more of the coat putting him a decent work to try and oh and he's off track he is off track at the kink when you go off there on the outside it is you'll never get it back oh and he's around he's around once again that is a uh, Horrible scenario. He was doing quite well. Catching uh, third place. Went wide. In the downhill section. In sector three there. And as 
falling all the way back to, I believe, 11th. Yeah, 11th. Oof, from 4th to 11th. That will put PTG Sheen all the way up to 4th in his Camaro. W of Fuzzball. Right on board with him as he's right behind Sheen. Some great camera angles for this track. Quite enjoy it indeed. jab of the brakes and turn through after the uphill of the sector three there ATR Diesel as he lets Diesel go by. Diesel technically a lap down at this point due to uh, having to jump back to the pits from an incident I believe in lap 2. It's a uh, Got the pass done and then went a little wide there in the exit of turn three, turn two, and uh, uh, and uh, Cope made his uh, way back around and in no real position changes due to. Diesel being a lap down at the moment. It's sliding all over the place, really pushing that Camaro quite hard. Coat 98 now all over the back. Notorious as Fudge Mercedes as they cross the line to complete lap seven. At the moment, the Camaros are doing very well here. You have the Aston Martin of Woodsy up front, and then third or uh, second place Camaro, third place of Schwanaman Camaro, fourth place of Sheen Camaro, and then you got Fuzzball and his BMW. Pushing. Rounding out the top five, but as I say that, Fuzzball makes his way around PTG Sheen in the uh, end of the first sector there. Got a nice clean way around that Camaro and is now charging ahead towards Schwanaman. Completing lap eight in our 25 minute race. As he dives down the hill of turn one. About 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the race. He is eight seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Looks like our 
Late Driver has shown up, a Black Zero One. Glad you could make it. About 11 minutes in this race. You may still. Glad you can make race two. Require some points. Some are better than none. That is for sure. Especially when there are some goodies at stake. Oh, Woodsy! Was he cutting it a little too, too fine there? And the championship winners of this series will receive a Xbox gift card. The top three drivers and the top two drivers of the championship standings will receive TPSR, uh, the Paddock Sim Racing merch t-shirt. Yes, yes, yes. As Woodsy is cruising out on track at the moment, putting about 25 seconds between him and third place of Schwanaman and his Camaro. The drivers are just kind of hanging in there at the moment. There's a little bit of front end damage there on Bad Wolfman's Aston Martin. cars are now quite spread out throughout the entire field and you're rough less than halfway through this race they were spread out quite quite a bit to be expected with the wet conditions uh, as you see in the cameras and the, the spectate mode it doesn't look too bad but when you're actually out on track it is Quite slippery, and the braking points are vastly different. Turn and angles have to be changed, suspensions have to be adjusted. Quite a bit for the wet conditions, and those are some rough changes that you have to get adapted to. Two Porsches together out on track. Battle between Fuzzball and Sheen. Looks like Fuzzball made his way around. Well, Schwanaman had a bit of an incident. What happened there? back to 11th. When did that happen? When did that happen indeed?
machine all over the back of the BMW of Fuzzball. Head down the hill from turn two. Not half a second between them at this point. Super close to the grass there. <laughs> Using all of the curb on that little kink there. Guy's pushing hard. Look at that. Camaro's all over. Using the curb and then some to try and catch that BMW a fuzzball. All the way back up to eighth overall. It's like Ann, uh, Millie had a little bit of an off there. In turn four. Yeah, four. As they head up the hill towards that long back straight, he's going to drop a few positions from that as he looks like he is now behind uh, Coat. Consistency is definitely going to be a main factor in this race. Have to hit your points, have to Keep focus, know your braking points are, your turn ins, your apexes, where you can and can't get on the throttle. And the wet, wet conditions are definitely the. the. I, the. what's the word I'm looking for? The great equalizer when it comes to uh, raw skill and driving ability, and not memorization. Not easy in the real world, and it is not easy here in the virtual one either. Looks like a car goes off in turn one in the kitty litter, and it's one of the Porsches. I believe that is the 16 car uh, of Baskus. As more of the coat, it looks like he made his way around uh, both the Porsches. Nope, just one. Uh, Gomez is out front of him. So the 16 car will lose two positions as Coat goes through. Making that Janetta work quite well here. It definitely doesn't have the legs for the long bits, but the twisty sections more than makes up for it. As you saw last race, it did very well. Very well indeed at... Uh, Zan Zan uh, Hungaro Hungaroing very well there. Ooh, and Millie making up a position in his twenty three McLaren on the Porsche of Velasquez as they cross the line to complete lap 14. With 
just a few seconds left in the race. Uh, I believe they'll get, they might just get one more lap depending on where the leader crosses the line. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna make it one more lap. White flag will fly. Okay, the leader is on the final lap now. Give it all you can. So if there was ever a time to make a move uh, on the McLaren, on the 16 car, now would be the time to do it. I'm not quite sure he is close enough to make a move. Um, at the moment, as... Coat looks like he is moving in for a move on Gomez in his Porsche as well. And only a few corners left for them to do it as they head down towards the final corner under the bridge. Heavy braking zone, long sweeper. Coat has the momentum looking to the inside on Gomez, but can't quite get the pass done. And Gomez will come across the line in fifth. Overall out on track That was a great race one. Don't worry everybody Stay tuned because race two is coming right up after this Everyone comes across the line 92 74 across the line or Mittens to cross the line there he goes Alright, this is your qualifying order. At the moment, you have ART Diesel, Crazy Mittens, Smokes, Spawnerman, Bad Wolf. Let's take one more lap? They have one more lap? Are they still. Oh, they're still going. I thought I said next. Am I missing something? Oh, they hadn't crossed the... Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Never mind. False alarm! This is the last lap. I thought they had already crossed the line. So, and Millie, and more of the coat, made up a few positions on Gomez and Blaskus. As now they'll cross the line with Coat in fifth, and Million sixth, Gomez seventh. Uh, Fudge in ninth. So oh, that was a close one there. So Wolfman in tenth. Eleventh, uh, twelfth here. 11th is Schwanaman, 12th is Schmokes, and Crazy Mittens 13th, Diesel in 14th. And Black CR1 will start in the back of the pack. Alright, we're gonna bounce out.